Oh, fish on. Big fish, big fish. Whoa, I got big fish. Those customers visiting Dallas, we do wish you a pleasant stay here. Come on, baby, come on. Mondo worms. Look at how big this fish is. There's some other things happening here in Texas. I think this will keep the sun off my neck. Oh! Oh! I'm shaking, Chase. Look at this. Oh my gosh. This is the biggest bass of my life. Love, gate E71. Thank you, have a good one. Day, Dang, you knew we weren't pre jack, huh? It's done. We ain't got much time left. We gotta go get that gate E71. It's boarding now. Appreciate it. Oh, we just got the rental car. I know y'all don't know what's going on yet. We're about to update you really quick here soon. We got a couple stops on the way out of here though. First being food, second being coffee. Coffee, I guess, for Chase. I gotta put my seatbelt on before we get on this main road. See ya! Head east, then your destination will be on the left. We're here, Sissy Bridges. It's our first stop. First stop in Texas. I uh, I just feel due for a new cowboy hat and uh, where's a better place to go than right here in Texas before we head out to the lake. So let's go look at some cowboy hats. As soon as I can figure out how to turn this car off. All right, I think I got the key with me. Come on in, welcome to Texas. All right, we got a lot to pick from from in here. Oh, I need some wind to be able to get through that thing. I think this will keep the sun off my neck, my ginger neck. I take forever making decisions on hats. I don't know why. What do you think? There's some other things happening here in Texas. Not exactly sure what's going on. Jordan came flying up here, pushed me out of the car and said he'll be right back. So stay right here. I got to go grab something real quick. Don't move. I'll be right back. I guess I'm gonna stand here baking in the sun and just try to figure out what the heck's going on. I don't know if y'all can hear that, but. Let me mow the lawn or something. Hold on, look at this. What's happening, everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Snark TV. Let's go. We are here in Texas at Google Squad headquarters. I'm definitely gonna need this. I don't have one of that color. And we are after a bounty bass. And what do I mean by that? Oh, clutch. Let me pick it up. Clutch is. Mr. Mike and Miss Laura put out an announcement. They have a 12 pound, six 
ounce bass that they shocked up at their lake and they put a bounty on it. $10,000 cash to the first person to catch this bass. Cash and jigs, I can't have one. More information about that in the link of the description of the place we're going. You can come fish here too. We might do a giveaway and y'all come fish with us. But for now, we're here at Guggen Squad headquarters. Got some weight to it. That probably should come with us. Have a little bit of fun as you can see, but we are here to get some baits that's gonna catch this 12 plus pounder, hopefully 13 pound bass, and get us that $10,000 bag. Let's go. I'm gonna have to snag a couple shirts before we leave too. I wonder what's in this room. Nobody's in here. Oh yeah. Oh, this must be special stuff. I got it hanging up there. They got it to where you, they know if you take some. I think our best bet is to actually go out in the warehouse and snag a bunch of soft plastics out there. And if we're lucky, we'll find some blazing worms. It's pretty dang smooth. The new Guggen reels are out. This is the only one I see here. We're here at the HQ anyways. But from what I've heard from Norm and Lojo is they are pretty dang fire. So if you're watching this video now, they're out because they are out today. You can buy them and you can use code SNARK, that's S-H-N-A-R-K, at GuggenSquad.com to save some money. That was really bad. We'll try it again later. I'm focused on baits right now. I'm trying to figure out what I need to catch big fish. Uh, Bama bug. That's going. Salty swimmers. Always need a salty swimmer. I don't have any mondo worms yet. I got one pack of lunker logs, and I'm trying to find some laser worms. So once we find that, we can hit the road and get out of here before anybody really knows we're here. <laughs> Sneak out of here. He locked it. How do we get out? <laughs> we're locked. How do we get out of here without everybody seeing everything I got? They're all right there unloading the truck. <laughs> All right, we can sneak out the back where I put that tractor up at and walk around the building and sneak out of here. Just... And if y'all haven't guessed yet, we are gonna do a Guggen Squad backpack with tackle giveaway. So make sure you're hitting that like and subscribe button. We're gonna sneak out of here. We'll see y'all at the lake. Booyah! What a burger! What a burger! What a burger is a must in Texas, and our buddy Britain hates that because of how much we have to go out of our way to get water burger when we're in Texas. Now that we're going out of our way, they're around every corner, but got to get it. It's a tradition now. Welcome to the hometown water burger. What can I get started for you today? Yes, my please have a number two with lettuce, cheese, ketchup, and mayonnaise. And a large Dr. Pepper to drink. Would you like large fries as well? No, thank you. Just a medium? Yes. Okay, anything else? What do you want there, Yeti? Same thing with everything on it. Uh, number two with cheese and everything on it. Dr. Pepper. Yeah, what's a drink with that one? Large Dr. Pepper. Fry, large. Sure. Large fry. Anything else? How good are these brownies you guys are promoting? Do you like them? Well, I'm not a fan of chocolate, but they say it's pretty good. Okay, let's try four of them brownies. Four of them? Yes. Okay, anything else? That's all. So I got a double meat water burger meal, only ketchup, lettuce, mayo, and cheese, medium fry, large Dr. Pepper, a double meat water burger meal with cheese, large fry, large Dr. Pepper, and four brownies. That's it. Proceed to the road. Thank you. Gee whiz, $34 at a drive through for two people. I wonder how much some brownies were. Mr. Mike, Miss Laura, I hope you love these brownies. I got them for y'all. Trying to butter y'all up with some sweets before I go catch all these bass out there at your place.
and these Dugan go-tos are kind of starting to get in my way. What a burger! M Lake and Golf Retreat. We will play some golf maybe while we're here, but we are after big old fat heifers. Big old Sally's. Let's go in here and say hi to Mr. Mike and Miss Laura. I don't know why you're yelling at me, Car. Let's go say hi. Hey. Uh-oh. We've made it. Not too bad, was it? Not too bad. Not too bad at all. We're here. How you doing, man? Yeah. Good to see you. Yes, sir. You too. Yeah. Chase. Chase, Mike Letson. Nice, nice to meet you. Chase. We made it. Not a long trip, was it? Not too bad with that flight. <laughs> we need some clarification here, Mr. Mike. We saw a post that you put up that there's a bounty on a bass out here. $10,000. 13 pounds. 13 pounds. Yeah. So if he weighs 13, or she. She. If she yeah. weighs 13. Got to be official though too. Yeah. We'll have to get Ivy, uh, OHIV people. Weigh. They have to take it there and get it weighed, or yeah. they have to come here and weigh it. So It'll be official. It's got to be official. I want a Lunker Lake. That's right. <laughs> well, that's what we're here for. So right. we're chasing ten thousand dollar bass out here. We're excited. Or five hundred for the lake. Five hundred too. Either way. Yeah. Every every little bit's gonna add up, but we're gonna have fun. You gonna go fish with me a little bit? Sure, if you want to. Okay. Laura's out getting the hog traps right now. Sure. Yeah. We're we're putting spawning beds out. Uh, we've redone a lot of stuff. Lake's gone down another. I see that. Since you guys been here. Uh -huh. well, we'll get out and take pictures of some big old lunkers and send them below Joe and Norm and tell them they should be here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kind of glad that I got here first though. Maybe I can catch it before they get out here. Heck yeah. <laughs> well, I, I went. Uh, I fished for about 45 minutes. Today around 10, 30, 11, I caught a six. Yeah. yeah. Just goofing around. That's awesome. Yeah. Well, I can almost guarantee we're going to catch a bunch of fives and six and sevens here this weekend, but you guys know what we're after. We'll be getting after that big old girl first thing in the morning. So we're going to relax here this evening and we'll catch up with you all in the morning. Mm, fish on! Fish on! We got one! Come on, baby. Be a good one. Be a good one. <laughs> yeah. All right. We caught one, baby. Good bass. All right. Let's keep going. Catching some fish this morning. Fish are blowing up. There's another bass. This one definitely feels better. But he's got to spin it around in this boat. Fish on, baby. Snark on, let's go. Oh, it's digging now. It's digging pretty good. Oh, couldn't really see it there. I don't know, was it good? It feels good, y'all. Snark on, baby. Let's go ahead and get the net ready, y'all. Pretty good five pounder. All right. All right. Not quite five, but four is going to work too. We're catching some fish. We got to figure it out with this clutch, y'all. We got to figure it out with the clutch. Oh, oh, settle down, settle down for me. Settle down here. Oh, four and a half pound bass. Just got all tangled up in this net. All right, that's loose. Mr. Mike likes to boat flip these. This might have been the one he lost from trying to boat flip it. It was caught right here too. Oh, Mr. Mike. Probably five. <laughs> you just tried to boat flip a five pounder. Yeah. Uh, three and a half, four, Matt might go four. Good fish. Big fish. Oh, there we go. Came back for it. Came back for it. That is a big fish. Oh, that is a big fish. Oh, pretty good fish. Really good fish, Chase. Oh! 
She's digging, son. She's digging, come on. Oh, shit. Oh, shoot. Sorry. Oh, no, I missed her. Oh. Come right to me. Oh, is that back out of the neck? No. Get in the boat, please. It's a six pounder. Oh. All right. That's a pretty good fish right there. All right. This is a big old healthy fish. My gosh, this is giant. That one might be 10. That's a giant. We're coming to you. Oh my goodness. It's a hog. And my GoPro just quit. Oh no, it really? Maybe it got real hot. Oh, it overheated. Yeah. Eight five. Eight five. <laughs> wow, what a fish. A picture. Look at her belly. She just ate. Look at that. She did just eat. Yeah. Wow. There she <laughs> That's awesome. Clutch. What'd you catch her on? Clutch. Right there. First time I threw it. The clutch right here in that little swell that's right in here. So hmm. it's where I caught. Like this clutch right here? What is that? So that one I was using yesterday. Like this? Got something like this it looks like? This one right here. The, that whole case of them that you brought me. And right where there. were you throwing it at? Somewhere right, right out, right out in here. Like right out in there. <laughs> yeah, right out in there. Because there's right. a little, there's brush and there's a little swell that goes up and down, and this flat kind of comes down right here and then goes to about six feet, and it goes back up to like three or four, then goes back down to the okay. bridge. Yeah. As soon as that one hit, I, you know, and when huh? I saw it. In the net, I go, man, look at that belly. Yeah, she just got, I she caught just many ate eight and nines, and they were never that. Yeah, you know, she just ate. Yeah, something. she was awesome. She, you know what she ate? She ate a clutch. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'd like to be back in that timber in those sticks where we've caught some big ones. There's a fish. Fish on. Fish on feels about the same size. First one looks too big. Yeehaw, cowboy! Come on. Fighting. He thinks he's bigger than what he is. Giddy up in here. Giddy up in here. Woo wee. Fun little fish. Baloosh. All right. We're catching a couple. We're catching a couple here. We got a fish pulling here. What we got? It ain't pulling so hard anymore. Boys and girls, it stopped pulling on me. I done spurred this bass. Yeah! Spur that bass here, cowboy! Man, that's like four fish in a matter of like three, four casts that hit this clutch. I think we're gonna be fishing that for too much time. Oh! These little bass will get you. Let's see you, buddy. That was fun. Mm, fish on. Jeez, he followed it all the way through the boat. Look at that thing. Says. Come on, you bucking bass. Oh, get in the boat. All right, all right. You're in here, you're in here now. Settle down, settle down now. We'll get you taken care of. All right. Little chunk, had fun, ma'am. Kinda looks like rain over there a little bit. Oh, fish on. Fish on, baby, let's go, snark on. Jump all the way out there for us. Come on, baby. Uh-oh, it woke up a little bit. Oh, oh my gosh. Dude, no lie, this is a big fish. Dude, this fish just woke up, it is big. Oh, come on, baby. Stay on there, don't jump for me. Don't jump. Oh. Oh. Dude, this is a giant. A giant, oh my gosh. Get in the boat. Oh no, he got out in the net. Oh, come on, baby, please. 
Let's go! Woo! That's a big fish, dude. That's a giant. Oh, man. Oh, that was scary. Oh, that was scary. <laughs> dude, look at how awesome that fish is. Oh, man. I'm gonna get the scale ready, get her in the water. It's a good fish, but it's not, we already know it's not gonna do what we need it to do. But, where you at, girl? Seven pounds. Seven pounds. How awesome is that? Seven pound bass. Woo! <laughs> Too cool, man. That was crazy. She hit then that little 16 ouncer. I mean, hit that that uh, clutch so much harder than this thing did. And I was goofing off, y'all can tell. Let's show her to you one more time here. I was goofing off. And uh she jumped and I seen her. I was just like, oh my gosh, we can't goof off anymore. Look at that big old head on that girl. Oh man. There she goes. Awesome. All right. Dang clutch, man. Mr. Mike's been killing him on the clutch all morning. I finally caught up with a big one on the clutch. We're gonna keep throwing it. We got good cloud cover right now. We got plenty of daylight left. We got a seven pounder in the boat. We got a lot of fish. I don't even know how many fish we caught, but we got time. We got time. Still time to catch that big old $13,000 bass. And by February, 10,000. I just added 3,000 to it. You had you adding in that 3,000? I've added 3,000. Mr. Mike, there, that bass just went to 13,000 for y'all. That's for me. I think that should be, right? Doesn't that make sense? 13 pound bass, $13,000. I like it. That Maybe that's just special for me. All y'all can come catch the $10,000 bass and uh you know february march is gonna book up in a hurry and it's only open on the weekends like a thursday to friday type deal as far as right now goes and so february march that's when oh there's a fish that's when uh these big old fat sally's heifers i don't know chase this might be a good fish it was swimming to me it's not fighting anymore so that's when them big old heifers are gonna be up there. Plus these eight nines that we're catching now, they're gonna be above 10 then. This bass hasn't showed itself yet. It's fighting a little bit, but it doesn't feel, I don't know now. I'm gonna be ready just in case, cause I don't know now. It's starting to pull a little bit. Oh my God. Oh yeah, it just woke up. Did it see my net? Oh, this thing just woke up, Chase. I gotta net as quick as I can. Oh my gosh. Dude, look at this. Is this not a big fish? This thing just woke up and started fighting like crazy. It's gotta be. It's not a big fish. Holy shit, it's hooked at the top of the mouth. You see, that sucker pulled when it got to the boat. Wow. All right, I mean, it's a big fish, don't get me wrong, but it's. I thought it was another seven, eight pounder when it started pulling like that. I mean, he started tugging. Let's see. Mm. Ow. All right, all right, you got me, you got me good. Okay, three and a half pounds probably, maybe. More like probably three, 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 four. But that sucker pulled hard. Thank you. That was fun. All right. Perfect timing. Catch a bass when I'm promoting L&M. Mr. Mike, Miss Laura. It's awesome here. I love y'all. Thank you. But uh, we are... Got to catch some bigger fish, Chase. I said we had a lot of time, but now I'm starting to feel a little bit of pressure. So no more rambling. No more talking. Y'all know what to do. All the info's in the description. Or just holler at me, send me a message or call me if you know me. My number is 911. There's one. Why is your out wearing them out? Oh. 
pep. There he is, another one. Look at this, man, we found him. Mm, there he is, fish on. Oh, there he is, got him. Got him off of that log. Did you see that? I pulled that spinnerbait over that log and let it fall back and he came back and ate it. How cool is that? Good little chunk too. If y'all top of the mouth, baby. If y'all don't throw spinnerbaits, this is the Zinger Saucy Swimmer, we just said it. If y'all don't throw spinnerbaits, you should. It's a fun, fun way to catch them. And it's a good tool to have. There he is. We got him that time. We got him, baby. Ooh, little jumping bucket. This is a bucket bass. Go ahead and buck for me. One last buck for y'all. And then we're gonna get them in the boat. Nice fish. Nice fish as that GoPro shuts off again on us. Uh huh. That's pretty rude of you to do that. Dang, that's a strong fish. That one just feels heavy. Huh. Cool. Fun fish. The fight, it took me three casts in there to get him. I knew there had to be one there, you know. There's a, there's a old tree log there with some grass around it. And if you read Bill Dance's book, there should have been a fish next to that log, and there was. It just took me three three attempts to get them. Man, this feels like a good one. It's way out there. I don't. Oh my gosh, it's way out there, and it's pulling drag all the way out there. This is a good fish. It's got to be a good fish. Come on, baby, stay on. Stay on. Don't jump, don't jump, don't jump. Oh. Oh my gosh, it's pulling. It's a giant, dude. It's a giant. Oh my gosh. Dude, it's, it's, a, oh my God, it just came off. I didn't know what, I don't know what else to do, man. I gave it, it was pulling drag from a hundred yards away. Oh no, my line, dude, my line snapped. And it was pulling drag when my line snapped, didn't it? I don't know what to say, it don't matter, no one's gonna believe you. Dude, Chase, that was a, that was a job, that was a legit, giant I've never had a fish pull like that like that far away pull like that normally you can turn them and they're swimming and stuff but not digging and pulling like that did God, that makes me sick hey, y'all I'm, I'm gonna cry a little bit I'll get, I'll get over eventually but I mean, it's a hundred yards away, digging and pulling drag. I mean, and it snapped the line, like, y'all see me reel in. It wasn't that much to reel in. I mean, it snapped the long line from far away. I, I don't know, I must have had a knot in my line or something. I don't know why it would do that. I've never had a bass do that to me before, like that, dig that hard from that far away. I don't know if I can get over that one. I don't know anything I could have done different. Drag was set right, it was pulling drag. I don't know. Golly. That'll make a preacher cuss. There's an old proverb that says the easiest way to get over one fish is to hook up with another. Yeah, I like that. Oh, fish one. Big fish, big fish. Whoa, I got big fish, big fish. Snark's on. Giant. He's running. He's running. Oh my God, oh, he's yeah. running. That is a good fish. This is a giant, oh, is giant. A complete unit. Stay on. Oh my gosh, dude. Come on, baby. Come on. 
Big fish. Whoa. Got so much stuff in this net. Dude, this is a big fish too. Look at it pull. Look at how big this fish is. Are you kidding me? This is a giant, dude. Come on, baby, stay on. Dude, Chase, this might be a $10,000 fish. Dude, I'm really nervous. Dude, this is a big fish, too. Oh, it's about to jump. Oh, jump, jump, jump. Oh. Dude, I'm like shaking. Oh, this is a giant. Here it comes up. Look at that giant. Oh my gosh, dude. Dude, this is a big fish, man. This is a really big fish. Really big fish, man. Dude. Holy cow, look at that thing dig. Don't jump, please don't jump. Oh my gosh, I'm shaking, Chase. I'm just trying to let it get tired and not jump it. It looked like it was hooked pretty decent. Alright, come on baby, come on here. Come on, come on. Oh! Oh my God, dude, look, I'm like shaking. This is a giant, legit giant Texas bass. Oh my gosh. Oh. <laughs> Let's go, baby. Let's go. Oh my gosh, you can put a football in this thing's mouth. I'm not taking it out of the net. And oh, look at this thing. A giant. All right, all right, let's get it. Let's get her unhooked. Do the handle. And then. Dude, I'm legit shaking. It was barely hooked there. It's hooked in his tongue pretty good, but not that good. Look at that fish! Oh, I'm losing the net. Oh, chaos. Look at that giant, dude. I'm shaking, Chase. Look at this. Oh my gosh. This is the biggest bass of my life. No doubt. We don't even have to weigh it. Mike! You gotta come check it out. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna get her back in the water. Dude, I'm legit like shaking. This bass is giant. Clutch, baby. Clutch. Guga Squad Clutch. Oh, come on. I can't get her unhooked. I'm shaking so bad. I'm not, I don't want to keep this fish out of the water really at all. Okay. Guga Squad Clutch. There it is. Coach Snark at Guga Squad. Go get you some. S H N A R K. Coach Snark. Oh. I'm going to bring her over to the other side. Oh, no. I'm, I'm going to leave her right there. Dude. I want to I wanna see her. You ready to see her? I'm, I'm ready to see her up close and personal right here. I want to see her. Here we go. I'm scared to death to take her out of the net. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes. That. Oh, that's my goodness. Giant. That is, that's going to be, oh, my gosh, that's going to be close to, 11 or 12. You had to beat it all the way, all the way here. It just oh, broke. Oh, no, the other one. It just broke. What's, let me see that one. Let me see that one. Get her back in the water. I'm trying to, but that piece fell in her mouth. Okay, I got it out. Yeah, get her back in. Oh my gosh, that's gonna be 12. That, that is a toad, baby. <laughs> let me see this. Yeah, it works. Like, I'm shaking. I was shaking when I saw this one. Oh. 
this is amazing. Is absolute man. unit, man. Oh. I told you, I said today, it's I knew. It's perfect. Today is just something about today, dude. Oh, I just can't oh, wait. Man. I'm hoping it's a $10,000 fish. Oh, yeah, me too. Me too. I ain't gonna lie. I hope it is too. Oh, oh man. Oh clutch. Well, you got a Texas PB maybe, ready? I got really? a PB no matter where I'm at. Oh, really? What's your biggest bass? Well, uh, I'm, I caught one high nines, but I I, I haven't weighed them, so I just oh. I got to where oh, I was she's like She's over 9. Huh? Yeah, it doesn't count unless I've weighed it now. So I, I just started that I started a whole new series of me trying to catch my personal best in every state. Yeah. And this is obviously my personal best for Texas, but I think this is my personal best overall that I'm gonna weigh. Well, I hope it is. Man. I want that to be. <sighs> okay, moment of truth, man. All right, Mr. Mike. I'll let you do the honors. I'm gonna have you help me hook. You know how, you know where to hook these big fish, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Here we go. Well, let's get her. Read it out loud, Mr. Mike. 12 pounds, eight ounces. 12, eight? <laughs> God, yes. yes! Oh my gosh. Oh, get it back in right. the water. I'm gonna just let it go to zero and do it one more time. Okay. All right, here we go. Just to read it. 12, seven, 12, eight. 12, eight again. 12, eight, there you go. 12, eight. 12, eight. Oh my gosh. Get a shot oh, of that 12 8. Get a shot of that 12 8 on that camera. Oh. I'm shaking again, dude. There I'm, you go. I'm yeah, shaking. Let me just get her back in for a second. Calm down. 12 pounds. You know how long I've been waiting for a double digit? We got it. Oh, I love it, man. I'm about to cry. I mean, it's just four you? years we've yeah. been doing this. Hey, let me tell you, there's 12 and a half pounds. And I'm, I'm done today. <laughs> I mean, I am. I knew today when that north wind was blowing. And uh, just, I can't. I can't. It's unbelievable, man. I can't stop here. What I do want to do is I want to get a scale off of her, okay? okay. And I want to send it to Jordan, get an age on her. Uh, do you know how to take? A scale I don't off? know how to take a scale. Okay, off. so how, is she? She okay? Yeah, yeah. She just. She's just relaxing. Okay, so what you do? You want you want a, a video of the the twelve eight though, right? Is what you're saying? Yeah, he he got already it. he got it. You could see the scale say I pulled 12, it up. Yeah, yeah, he pulled it up. Oh, oh, and it still said twelve eight yeah. on it. Oh, okay. Yeah. So all, all right. you gotta do is take her out of the water. Okay. Okay. Take her out. There you go, and you just leave her right there. Okay. There's a scale. Two scales right there. That's all okay. I need. All right. All right, here we go. Yes. We're going to really go in and get drunk. Oh. <laughs> oh, look at this big girl, man. She's so beautiful. 12 pounds, 8 ounce bass. 12 and a half pounds. My personal best any state 12 and a half pounds i'm just gonna let her kind of look at her she's swimming off on her own i didn't even push her at all look at her swim off on her own swim off on her own beautiful beautiful mr mike i gotta shake your hand thank you <laughs> you're still shaking uh, you just you, you just made a dream come true i caught a double digit bass it's our first double digit bass that has been caught yeah we shocked up a 12.6 and you got a 12.8 500 bucks yeah Eight more ounces, and you're talking ten thousand uh, dollars. I know. It's gonna happen. I should have stuck a couple of them weights in their belly. <laughs> I seen that just recently. Somebody do that. Yeah, I saw that too. <laughs> Twelve pounds, eight ounces. Are you freaking kidding me? Whoa! That was awesome. See, we're talking about coming out here and trying to catch a ten thousand dollar bass, and I bet you y'all didn't think there's thirteen pound bass here. Weighed it twice to prove it. Chase picked up the scale afterwards, 12 pounds, eight ounces. There are 13 pound bass out here. I don't even wanna talk about the fish anymore that got off before that. I don't care anymore. 12 pounds, eight ounces. Chase said it earlier. You know, the best thing to do when you miss a fish or lose a big fish is catch another one. And we just caught my personal best. So 
Whew, I'm gonna take a couple deep breaths. We're gonna make another pass, have lunch, and we're coming back out this afternoon. This ain't it. I'm gonna catch my biggest bag here. Also, my 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 personal best bass and my biggest bag. We're we're on the way to doing that right now. I mean, we gotta. I don't even know what to say anymore. I just want to go fish like this. <laughs> 12, 12 and a half pounds. Are you kidding me, Chase? Oh, dude. That scale when I clicked it on goes six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I was like, oh my god, we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. It's gonna get to 13 and it goes 12, 6, 12, 7, 12, 8. I was like, ah. What are you doing, Mr. Mike? Well, changing of the guard is what's going on. <laughs> this has been up here for two and a half years. Nine pounds, 15 ounces. And uh, someone broke it this weekend. I can't really say who. <laughs> <laughs> that would be me. <laughs> that would be me. New lake record. New lake record. There you go. <laughs> I love it. Does it look like me? <laughs> I bet. <laughs> we got it. Too cool.